If you're an absolute beginner for sailing catamarans, this will help you get oriented to what are the options that are out there. I remember when we first started looking into sailing catamarans, we had no idea what the different brands were, what the different model names were, what was good, what was expensive, what was old, none of that. We had zero understanding. And I remember being a little bit lost to try to get a start. So this video is to hopefully help you find a little bit of a foothold, plant a small seed of knowledge that can grow and help you find what's gonna be the right boat for you. This is for beginners. It probably won't be interesting for anybody to spend a fair amount of time on the water or around boats, so you might skip this video. If you're a beginner, stay tuned. So this is a quantitative, not a qualitative, ranking of the boats based on what's for sale right now. I was gonna do it based on the boats that have been produced by each brand. Then it gets confusing to separate the numbers between power boats and sailing boats. And not every brand has easily accessible numbers. This is sorted based on the quantity of boats per brand that's on sale right now online, not a qualitative judgment. The first three brands are gonna be the ones you hear about the most. Those three together account for over 52% of the boats that are on sale right now on the market online. That's huge, just three brands have half the market. They are in order of boats available, Lagoon, Fontaine Peugeot, and Leopard. All three of these brands tend to produce what's called production boats, which means basically that they're not custom boats per owner. Um, and because they're not custom boats, they are produced. Both Lagoon and Fontaine Peugeot are French companies and Leopard is a South African company. Not that that really matters. Some of these boats you'll find listed under multiple names, but you might also see those boats listed as being part of their parent company. For example, Leopards are built by Robertson Kane, so you might see Leopard boats listed as Robertson Kane boats. Um, this is also true of the Moorings boats. Moorings boats are, generally speaking, the same as Leopard boats. The Mooring boats are built by Robertson Kane based on the Leopard designs before the Moorings company, um, if I got that right. If I didn't, somebody will correct me in the comments below, I'm sure. All three of these brands design boats for both charter and private liveaboards. They tend to be big, very beamy, and have a lot of room. They're not in tended to be the most performant sailing catamarans that are out there. That being said, they're not they're not slouches either. Moving on down the list, the next brands are Katana, which are a little bit more performant oriented. They tend to have dagger boards, which if you're new, you probably don't know what that is, but that'll help you sail faster upwind. Next down the list are Nautatech and Privilege. Great boats, check them out. All three of those, Katana, Nautatech, Privilege, uh, they are all French built, which is still something that I've yet to learn is why are there so many French catamaran builders? and not other brands, I don't know, I'm sure there's a reason. Next up is Gemini, and the Gemini boats, they're American made, they are a great option for those who tend to be on a stricter budget but still want a catamaran. Gemini boats are a little bit shorter, and they tend to be really great for, you know, for a couple or an individual who want to live aboard, and are okay with having a little bit less room. The Gemini boats, being smaller, are gonna be cheaper to buy, cheaper to maintain, cheaper dockage fees, so they're definitely a way to go for those who want a catamaran but are potentially on a budget. Next is Seawind. They're Australian based. Because of that, you tend to see more of them available down in the Australian New Zealand area, but there are some on the west coast of the United States or smattered around throughout the world. These are great boats. They have their own particular set of features. I'm trying to stay away from any qualitative judgments of the boats. They're all decent boats, and the newer the boat, the better it's probably gonna be. If you compare an old Lagoon to a new Fontaine Peugeot, it's not even really a fair comparison because all the brands have grown and improved and developed their technology throughout the you know last 15, 20 years. So I wouldn't go so far as to say any brand is bad or good. Some brands had models that didn't do so well. Some, some brands had models that did very well but that spans the entire brand. And, and you will find people out there who have negative opinions of brands and listen to what they say and take it with a grain of salt because their particular experience might have been on a boat that was older or maybe not well maintained or one was one of the early models that wasn't as well designed as the new models or the newer models. Listen to what people have to say. Ultimately, the judgment calls on yourself. Next up is Sunreef. The Sunreef boats are 
big boats. They tend to be bigger, expensive, more luxurious boats. They're made in Poland. You'll definitely have to have the budget to even start considering these. Next up is Voyage Yachts. They are South African based. You don't see as many of these on the market because we're going down the list. Second to last on our list as far as availability is Outremer. Outremer is also a French based boat. They are more performance oriented boats. So the Outremer's tend to have narrower hulls versus like the Lagoons, the Leopards, and the Fontaine Peugeots, which tend to have fatter hulls. So this can get tricky because if you compare like a 45 foot Outremer to maybe a 40 foot Lagoon are going to have about the same amount of room of living space, but the Outremer has longer, sharper, narrower hulls. So you can't just base the amount of room you have to live on a boat based on the length of the boat. You need to take into comparison the purpose for each boat. If you want to be able to compare a little bit better, I did create this tool on our website that I call the floor plan tool. If you click the little eye up here, it'll take you to the floor plan tool and you can compare the different boats so you can see what a 45 foot Outremer looks like as compared to a 40 foot Lagoon or Leopard or Fontaine Peugeot, and it's completely free to use. So Outremer for speed. The last boat on our list of 12 here is the Prout series of catamarans. The Prout business is actually out of business now, but they sold their molds, and there are kind of reincarnations of Prout that you'll see. So you'll see a lot of Prout or things that look like Prout because there are companies that bought the Prout molds and continued to make the same boats but by a different company. And some people swear by these boats and there might be some truth to that because these still make the top 12 list as far as boats that are being bought and sold around the world. There are many more brands that are out there. There's a lot of smaller shops that produce less boats per year. This is just to get you started. These 12, these top 12 here compose over 83% of the boats that are available right now on the market. That is the majority of the market easily. That can get you started. There are other boats that I didn't mention here like Admiral and Maverick and stuff like that that are really, really good boats, but there's far fewer of them available. And you as a beginner, odds are you're probably not gonna go that route because you don't know enough to understand why these boats might be a good fit for you. Uh, not to say you won't get those boats, but you'll have to learn more before you get to that decision. I hope that helps you beginners out there. Each boat brand has a little bit of a different personality and there's gonna be one that resonates more with you. None of the brands are bad. None of the brands are perfect. Each brand has boats that are great. Each brand have boats that are less than great for you. This is really important because it matters what's going to be good for you. I'll put this list of all the different brands down below in the description so you can Google them, copy and paste the names and search around. If you found this video useful at all, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Either way, thanks for watching.